Likely to fall asleep, Kimberly. <laughs> I think it's me too. I basically fall asleep in, on the couch <laughs> at our place. Um, yeah, and then he'll come down at like two o'clock in the morning, like, babe, come mm. upstairs. Well, I try to bring her up with me, but she refuses. <laughs> yeah, my favorite line is, I'm gonna have to go to work tomorrow. Baby. <laughs> Alright, so next one is who's most likely to start arguing? Kimberly. <laughs> but okay, we don't argue like that much. Yeah, but if we were to argue, <laughs> you would be the person who would to start it. Okay, yes, Lenny is very chill. Like sometimes I argue with him because he doesn't like argue. <laughs> uh, better organized okay, then. Uh, most likely to stay to want to stay in. <laughs> Me. Uh, Lenny, he's a homebody. Um, yeah, I like go out more, I like to hang out with friends and things. Uh, so the next one, obviously, who's most likely to go out? Me. But I feel like that's the same question. It is the same. No, actually, who's most likely to stay in? No, I think actually you you like when like we're together. You like to go out. Like you're like, oh, let's do this, and I'm like, oh, okay, no, that's, let's I guess that's not. True. But if it comes to like our like friends, our own friends, like I am most likely to go out with them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, who's most likely to argue with someone else? Kimberly. With a stranger? Yes. <laughs> but not now. I think I'm better now. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are better. Maybe like before, like a, uh, like a few years ago. Yeah, but you're still more, more likely than me. Um, anyway. <laughs> I guess. But I think now it's less. So yeah, pretty soon it's gonna be the answer's gonna be you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, next. Most likely to fall asleep first. I guess like if we're both in bed it'll be me. <laughs> yes. That's true. Uh-huh. Um, okay, who's most likely to become the kindest person in the world? Uh, that's a tough one. Me! What? Hello! Well, I'm supposed to be the nice one. You are the nice one, babe, but like the most kindest person in the world? I meditate. Oh, I guess so. Fine, Kimberly. <laughs> um, okay, who's most likely to live in a big city? Kimberly. Why me? Because I hate living I in a city. I was gonna say none of us. Well, it's like, Because I we lived in a city before and we both didn't like it. Well, the question is most likely, so don't I have to pick one? No, I don't think so. Fine, none of us, but if we Think had of to us. We, one, lived in a, if, we lived in downtown St. Louis and we hated it. Like, well, was, wait a sec, I didn't hate it. I hated it. It was super loud all the yeah. time. But I hated living in like the Bronx, so. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, okay, so who's most likely to do weird things in public? I guess me. <laughs> yeah, you. What was the weirdest thing, the, the most recent weird thing you did in public? I don't know. I'm not like a weirdo doing weird things, but like, <laughs> like you're extra and don't want to do anything weird. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to walk away from you. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. Okay, next. Uh, most likely to die of something stupid. I guess you. that's me. <laughs> um, I definitely am not going to die with anything stupid because I'm very careful. Um, and like, you know, I just change now that I'm older. Um, Alright, the next question is, who's most likely to trip? Me. Lenny. <laughs> Again, I guess it goes with the first one. Dying or something stupid. Um, You're gonna like, trip off a mountain. When was, the last time, when was the last time you tripped? 
Mm -hmm. Well, actually, like, yesterday, like, I think coming from work, like I was, I don't know if you would call it like a trip. I was like walking, and like I accidentally stepped onto the side, off the sidewalk, and then like back on, and like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's always tripping. He always tells me, and then he's like, "Why are you laughing?" I'm like, "Cause it's funny. You're always tripping." So. Alright, who's most likely to die in a zombie apocalypse? I think Lenny. Yeah, that's Because <laughs> he would trip and then they would eat him. Or because I would be saving you. Well, that's heroic. Yeah. Um, next. Most likely to jump, well, to bungee jump. I think me Lenny. Is, even though I wouldn't want to do it, but like out of both of us, it would be me. Yeah, I mean, I could be spontaneous though and do it. Yeah. Really like, let's say. Kicks. No, I'm just saying for real. I got on the Superman at 6'5, you wouldn't have thought I would have gotten on it. Yeah, that's true. I was very adventurous when we first met. Oh, you want to say the Six Flags story? What's Six Flags story? Okay, basically, we went on a date to Six Flags when we were just going out. And I. <laughs> so basically, I used to go to Six Flags every summer with like my family. And uh, because my dad would get tickets from his job. And. You know, the extra things that they have, like the bungee jumping and like, you know, the, the flying in the air thing, they cost more. So my dad would never pay for us to do it because we are a uh, total four. And so when I went with Lenny to Six Flags, I took advantage and I said, all right, we're on a date. Let's pay, you're going to pay for us to get on this. Yes. And he didn't want to get on it. He was actually scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared. I mean, I, was, I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> Anyways, it's the one bit where you know you it's a are. Shot. It's a slingshot, yeah. So you go up and then you're like let go and you actually feel like you're just falling into the air and then like you feel the string. Um, so yes, it would be Lenny for the bungee jumping, but I might, you know, get my young Kim feeling back and do it. All right, who is most likely to worry about small things? Um, that's tough. I think one. me. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm the planner, and I'm always looking ahead into the future. No, if anything, well, I guess so, yeah. Like, I guess for me, like, I, I see things as, like, I will we'll deal with it slowly, and, like, I always think, like, you know, like, it'll get better, or we'll figure something out. Mm -hmm. Or, I guess, Kim does, like, she gets more anxiety over small things than I would. <laughs> yeah. Alright, next. Um... Most likely to be a world traveler. I guess I would be. I, I like to travel, but I definitely would more can. It would be me because I go on a lot of vacation with my friends, my girlfriends. Um, and yeah, I've been to a lot of places. That could be an odd deal. Um, who's most likely to get up for a midnight snack? Lenny. Mm. <laughs> like I would wake up and be like, oh my gosh, you finished this, and she's like, oh, I ate it, and I'm like, when? I didn't even see you. That's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, but if there was one of like, who's most likely to send out for a midnight snack at a vending machine, it would be you. So. That's true. <laughs> uh, most likely to be late, Kimberly. Me. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I'm late. I'm and I, it's not that I'm late because I don't wake up early enough, it's that I wake up and then I want to do too much. So it'll be like, oh, let me pluck my eyebrows and oh um you know let me like if my hair is wet then i can wake up early and you know if i don't do my hair i'll be on time but then i decide to do my hair like oh let me just you know straighten my hair or whatever and then i'll be late <laughs> um who's most likely to be afraid of watching horror movies mm. lenny i don't like them either we both don't like them but i feel like sometimes i get in the mood to watch them, if that makes sense. And I'm never in the mood to watch and them. And Lenny's never in the mood. <laughs> most likely to, uh, sorry, most likely not to be able to control laugh and serious moment. I guess that's me. Yeah. When was the last time? Oh, you were on the phone with a representative and he started choking. <laughs> and then he was laughing and telling the person, I'm sorry, I was just choking for a minute. <laughs> that's um, true. Okay. Who's most likely to never spend his or her money? Lenny. <laughs> I like to say the story that when we were first going on, he was a spender. And now that he got me, he is just like, oh, let's not go to the movies. It's going to come out anyways and we can watch it then. <laughs> like, what? 
Alright, next is. Oh. That's definitely a complete. <laughs> Why did you read it? <laughs> Most likely to buy pizza. Me. Like, we both like pizza, but like, back in college, like, when, <laughs> for some odd reason, she would sneak in the bathroom to order pizza. <laughs> And I wouldn't even need my card because I memorized the number. <laughs> Alright, who's most likely to be a nerd? Uh, Lenny. I guess. Well, it depends because, like, we're, di we're different stuff, so. No, a nerd is someone who's just a nerd. What is, whatever, fine. Like, 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 educational things. Like, he watches YouTube videos on, like, wars in the past, like, historical things. Like, I never watch that, like, ever. Like, I watch those things if it's, like, like, turned into a movie. So what was that, like, what was it, Henry Ford thing? That it was, like, a movie, but it was also educational at the same time. But he would legit just watch the historical documentary things, and I don't do those. Alright. Um, who's most likely to be allergic to something? Kimberly. Me. I, I have environmental allergies. Yeah. And I have to take like four medications for them. <laughs> um, go ahead. Most likely to swim. Um, we guess, both don't know how to swim. I mean, I know better than you. A what? You drowned in Hawaii. What are you talking no, okay. about? That's no. <laughs> okay, we both don't know how to swim, but I know how to swim better than him. I know how to swim across for a very long time. And let me tell you about this story. So one time we were in Hawaii, and Lenny was on his what was that called? Oh, paddleboard. He was on a paddleboard. No, he wasn't on a paddleboard. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was a. Uh... <laughs> Boogie board? A boogie board. And he was going out in the deep. And I always tell him, babe, don't go out in the deep. Blah, 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 blah. You don't know how to swim. So he goes, and I'm like, I'm not even in the water. I'm just watching him. And I'm just like, he's going way too far. So then I started to record him, right? Like, to prove to him, like, that you're too far. And then he, like, slipped off of his boogie board. And I guess he was way too deep because all you saw was his, his head ducking in the water and coming back up. Ducking in the water. I was swimming, swimming back, back up. up. I was swimming up. No, he wasn't swimming back up. He was drowning. He was legit drowning. Like I legit stopped recording because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want him to die and we have this on like video. So I turned off the camera. Luckily there was this nice Hawaiian boy that went and uh, helped him. He to grabbed stop my boogie board. That's what it was. Whatever, but you got back on it. You were struggling. Why are you denying it? You were really legit drowning. Like I was legit like, wow, I'm gonna be living in Hawaii all by myself and this is supposed to be the most amazing time of our lives and he's drowning because he doesn't listen. Okay. And we'll move on to the last question. <laughs> um, oh, the last question is who's most likely to um, leave someone in danger? Kimberly. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Um, one time we went to a haunted house. Why don't you tell the story? Because you're, you're you're like scarred by the story. I think you're overreacting. I think you mean a baby. Well, we were at we were at the haunted house together, holding hands, and out of nowhere comes this clown with a chainsaw, and somehow I'm alone, and Kimberly's like down the hallway. So <laughs> I'm just saying, when things hit the fan, you're alone. If you're with Kimberly. Yes. Well, you know, keep up or die. <laughs> Um, Alright, anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for watching our video, guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe uh, to make sure that you are informed every time we post a new video. And anything you want to say? Thanks, YouTube. Thanks for the support. Yeah, thank you. Bye. I'm more likely to like, try. <laughs>